All right, you guys, so to check out how to create this really cool collage text effect here in Illustrator. And also, if you want to check out how I made this really cool 3D text effects, I already have the tutorials here on YouTube uploaded, so I can leave a link in the description, of course, if I can find them still. So let's take a look. All right, so this is going to be my artboard size, and I'm going to drag and drop one of the letters. And from here, let's go and select the polygonal lasso tool. And what I got to do is make a selection of the letter. And let's go down to the mask and select add a layer mask. So it's going to cut it out. And now we're going to need to find some wrapped papers. And of course, for that, I did download some wrapped paper. And I'm going to go to the layer. So basically, this is a mock-up. And I'm going to remove the unnecessary stuff here. So here we got the effect. And I'm going to remove the background, open up the effect, and remove the rest. So here we got the model. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to add a solid black. And then I'm also going to open up the effect. And I'm going to go here to the model. And I'm going to duplicate the solid color right here. And uncheck the model and delete the rest of the layers. And I'm going to press Ctrl Shift Select Everything, right click and select Merge Layers. I don't know what is this in the corner, but we won't need that anyways. So from here, what we're going to need to do is select the Magic Wand tool. And I'm going to select one of these a wrapped paper. I'm going to click on here. And I'm also going to press Ctrl Shift to select these ones. So now I'm going to press Ctrl C. And let's go to the other tab, press Ctrl V. And I'm going to press Ctrl T, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt to scale it down. And I'm also going to rotate it, make it horizontal, double click. I'm going to press Ctrl T again, and I'm going to make it more narrow. So it's going to look something like this. So what I'm going to do is position it somewhere here, and I'm also going to rotate it. So it's going to start from this point. And now we're going to go to the edit, and let's going to select the puppet warp. So here what we're going to need to do is add a couple of pins. So I'm going to add one here at the corner, add another one here and here, so you can manipulate it. And I'm going to add another one here. There you go. Until you're going to turn it around. And I think this is actually pretty good, but I'm going to add a couple of more pins. And I'm going to position it correctly, like so. I'm also going to need the rest. As you can see, we got the other one right here. So I'm going to select it and pin it right here and bring it in. And I'm going to move it right here and place it. So now I'm going to add the rest of the pins. All right, so from here, we're going to need to clean this up. So I'm going to go and select the letter N here. Click on the mask thumbnail. Select the brush. Make sure that you're on the black, for example. And here we're going to delete the unnecessary part with the black color, like so remove the unnecessary areas. And now we're going to need to fill up the rest with pink here. So I'm going to go and swap this from black to white. And with the white, we can fill it up. I'm also going to drag and drop a wrinkle paper texture. Drag the layer above the letter N layer right here. And press and hold Alt and click in between the layers with the letter N and this texture. And now we're going to go to the blend mode, change it to multiply. And now we got some textures going on, which you can move around. I'm also going to press and hold shift and select the layers with this collage. Press control G to group it. And I'm going to double click on it. And let's go and select drop shadows. And here you can add some shadows, increase or decrease the intensity, and arrange it however you like. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.